in my preteens, early teens, 13. It was a lot of things going on at home. Um, there were a lot of issues with mom. So I started rebelling. Um, I left home. Um, the important thing with that is that I still went to school. I didn't have someone at 13 to wake me up and go to school, get good grades. I still was motivated to do that. And I graduated from the number one high school in Buffalo, New York with honors. After that, again, knuckleheaded around. I had my first son. I was 17, going on 18. So I've been motivated to do it. And my son, he kind of helps me because we started college at the same time. He's 19, he's at Mississippi State University and he's studying neurosurgery. He wants to be a brain surgeon, so he has a 4.0 as well. So our competition semester for semester is, let's see who keeps this 4.0. I think it enhanced their abilities, my children, because I have a younger son as well, he's 16. He goes to Mitchell High School. Um, it enhanced their abilities to work harder at school, education, and they're actually seeing that there is a positive outcome because of what I'm doing. So it just makes me do even more because I know in the long run, they're gonna be even better than I am right now by seeing what I'm doing. When I decided that I was gonna come to PPCC, I was 35 going on 36. Um, I started a semester behind the rest of the class and I kind of wanted to graduate with everyone else. So that motivated me to take more credited hours per semester. Uh, last semester I took 20 credited hours and I still completed with a 4.0. And like I said, this 4.0 is became my motivation because I've never thought I was capable of this type of outcome. And now that I know I am, I refuse to get less than that. So I push myself every day. Pikes Peak Community College is awesome. It is. The people here, the students, the faculty, everybody, they make me feel like it's a family, it's a home. The money that I've received through scholarships has made academics so much easier because I'm not focusing on financial. How am I going to pay for this? How am I going to get these tools? I already know that it's coming as long as my grades stay good. A lot of people say that I'm more of a leader in my classes and I kind of feel like I am because when I see someone that's not doing what I see they're capable of doing, I do bring it to their attention. I help them realize we're all here to do the same thing and that's to get this degree that we wanted. So why come to school, have to pay for it, and then waste it. After I'm done in the fall, I plan on studying until May to get my ASC certification. I think it's very important to have women in the automotive industry. Uh, your average woman is skeptical about our mechanics because for a long time, we've been misled on how much things cost, how much it's gonna be for a part. So I wanted to open a shop where it contributes to everyone, but put a little more in for women where I can have classes like every Saturday. To the people who give scholarships for PPCC, I greatly appreciate them. And I would love to just run and give them a big hug for all of what they've done for me. Um, I'm pretty sure they don't realize how much it impacts our lives in a positive way but it really impacted mine to the point that I'm able to maintain this 4.0 because I'm not focused on my financial and I'm fully focused on my academic. I love PPCC.